In this science project, you'll compare and contrast different irrigation systems. Agricultural technology has been used to develop passive ways of watering crops in the light of recent heat waves. To make your own drip irrigation system, you'll need a few common household items. For a full list of project materials, check out the link in this video's description. First, cut a piece of cotton string so that it overhangs the straw on each side. Then, cut a piece of craft wire with the same length as the cotton string. Tie the end of the cotton string to the end of the craft wire. Then feed both of them through the straw, leaving the end of the cotton overhanging on the opposite end. While holding onto the cotton string on the opposite end of the straw, gently pull the wire out from the inside. Then carefully untie the wire from the cotton string. With the cotton string overhanging both ends of the straw, the cotton wick will draw up water to drip onto the soil. Next, you'll uncap your bottle and add a second piece of wire around the mouth of the bottle to hold up the straw. Fill the bottle with water, then add your wick system into the bottle. To get the wick to start dripping, suction up the water through the straw with your mouth, then carefully remove the straw from the water and place it back into the bottle to equilibrate the pressure. Arch the straw end below the top level of the water in the bottle, ensuring that the water is dripping. After it starts dripping, Secure the wick in place with the wire wrapped around the mouth of the bottle. Measure the output of the drip irrigation system by adding a measuring cup below the end of the wick. Record the amount accumulated for about one week, then use this information to keep the volume of water used for each irrigation system consistent between each system and trial. To set up your planters for each irrigation system, fill each pot halfway with soil. Then to set up your clay pot or oya irrigation system, Pre-wet your clay pot first, then insert it into the soil. Fill the area around the oya with soil, lastly. Then, after you've set up your oya condition, fill the other planters to a similar height with soil. Plant three to four seeds per pot with the same spacing for each condition. Use the oya pot as an example of how to place your seeds for each condition while leaving a spot in the middle for watering. Follow the instructions on your seed packet to plant the seeds at the right depth in the soil. Add the same volume of water to each irrigation system based on your calculations of the weekly water dispensed by the drip irrigation system. For example, add the same volume of water to the inside of the oil once a week. You can also add the same volume of water to a watering can or cup to pour over the soil for the surface irrigation system. Take care to water into the center of the pot once each week. Lastly, you'll add your drip irrigation system over the center of the container and it will dispense the water throughout the week. You can either do this experiment in triplicate all at the same time, also known as in parallel, or you can reuse the pots for each system over time. To measure the impact that each irrigation system has on soil moisture and plant growth, you can first use a moisture meter or hygrometer. To use a hygrometer, insert the probe into the soil to the same depth for each pot. Wait 30 to 60 seconds and then read the moisture level on the scale. You can use this data to learn about what irrigation system helps keep a more consistent soil moisture and if this impacts plant growth. During the experiment, you can also measure the plant height germination time, and root length once the plants grow, and use this information to test if passive irrigation systems are just as effective as active irrigation watering methods. For more information on how to do this science project yourself, use the link in this video's description. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.